Let's program the intro one print in your packet together. The first thing we want to do is we need to create a new program. We're going to do that by going to the input screen, hit program manager, select new, and we're going to create a new conversational program. That should insert a no name one with a .hwm for Herco Winmax Mill into the program manager. Next, we're going to go back to the input screen. We're going to go to Tool Review and Tool Setup. And we want to set up or describe the tools that are going to be used for this particular print. If we look at the tool list in the upper right hand corner of the print, we see that we're using a 5 8 center cutting end mill. We're going to use tool number one. I'm going to pull down and select the end mill choice. We know it's a 5 8 or 0.625. If this was an odd diameter, I could do it as a fraction. 5 divided by 8, enter. And that would give me the diameter as well. The tool calibration length is something that will be set when we actually set up the tool. And we're going to set up the speeds and feeds for this particular tool. I'm going to turn on primary coolant. My surface speed will be 1200 surface feet, 5,000 feet per flute, two flutes for, the, for this tool. So now we have our tool set up. Next I'm going to go to the part setup screen, more, and stock geometry. I want to create stock geometry for this particular print. I want to manually size my stock it is going to be a box, and I simply enter the stock size from the print. 3.5 in the X, 2.5 in the Y, and it's one inch thick. Now I go back to the input screen, I go to part programming, and I can start to program the features on this particular print. This is going to be a mill circle. So I want to select milling and then select circle. Now I just begin to fill out the information asked for in the fields. It wants to know the X and Y center of the circle. 1.75 for the X, 1.25 for the Y. It's a two inch diameter circle, so a radius of one inch. Our Z start will be 0.1 final depth minus 0.5 because the print says it's a half inch deep and I'm going to use tool number one. If I did not know what tool I wanted to use I could simply select tool from list and if I had multiple tools that had been displayed I could simply select the tool that I want. In this case I want tool number one. I select tool number one. Now this particular milling type for this feature is going to be a pocket boundary. So I pull down my menu, select pocket boundary, and you can see that much of the information has been filled in for me. It is going to spiral from the center out to the outside. The speeds and feeds have been set. My pocket overlap or the step over of the tool. Now I'm probably not wanting to cut this full half inch in one shot. So I'm going to do this in pecs of 0.1. And my plunge feed, the plunge in the Z axis will be 20 inches a minute. Now, if I were to hit the draw screen, I see that I have something that resembles my part. I can look at that in the isometric view. I can also go to my graphic settings and look at it in solids. And here we see that we have the part programmed successfully.